<laughs> Mr. President, I know you are really an art lover and you came every year to the Vienna Fair. So, <laughs> why? Because it's interesting. And maybe I can contribute a little bit to the, to the goals and to the aims of the Vienna Fair and I think it's a good thing and why shouldn't I come? And has this uh, art fair like this an impact on the Austrian and Viennese art scene? Yes, I mean it started rather small but it was a good beginning and it's growing from year to year and I'm just going to be informed uh, on, on new goals and new a new dimensions and, and uh, I, my reaction is positive. Uh, you're a collector of art, so you, you buy something here on the art fair maybe? Yes, uh, I, I'm asked this question very often and I have many friends in art since decades of years. Uh, one of my best friends are people like Holika or Brachensky and, and, and others and my my, the, the flat of my wife and myself is full of art and some pieces we have not room enough. They are not, so to say, they are not on, on walls, but uh, they are at home and uh, that's a good feeling. A last question, uh, it's a lot about business here, of course, but do you think that you, have, that you need another approach now to art and art business because we have the financial crisis, a social crisis? Do you think there's an art fair is the right uh, format to present, re represent art? Well, I, I think the, the basic uh, relation between human beings and art is unchanged and unchangeable and art a relation between uh, men and women on the one side and art is existing ever since uh, human uh, culture and civilization is existing. But it may be that an economic crisis has some impact in so far as uh, uh, it may be that less money is available, but the principal significance of art is totally unchanged.